healing. Ariane Lloyd, who you all know, is a fabulous channel of many, many years, who um, channels the guides, um, who always present fascinating, insightful, and really helpful information and guidance. Greetings, beloved entities. It is a joy to have this opportunity to chat with everybody. Right. This and it is that you are considering very important and significant questions that occur to you that give you an opportunity to dialogue in this way, but also give you an opportunity to become more acquainted with your own thinking. And it is a great thing when entities can become more acquainted with their own thinking. And it doesn't happen simply by thinking a thought and then getting on with it, it happens by considering a thought. So when you are sitting on your break or your morning, morning tea or by yourself out of doors and you start to think, allow yourselves to actually entertain the thought that you are thinking, perhaps even jotting some notes about it because it allows you to expand your own awareness of yourself in these times especially in these uncertain times, as you have given as the topic for today, in these uncertain times, first of all, it is to consider what exactly are you certain about? What do you have certainty about? You have certainty about the meal that you are going to prepare. You have certainty about the appointments that you have made that you are meant to keep. You have certainty about your schedule. In other words, you have certainty about your preferences sometimes. And that is one of the most important things to become acquainted with and familiar with in these times of uncertainty is your preferences. And this is a great, great opportunity to consider those things and examine them and to make certain that you are acting on your preferences as much as you possibly can. And for many people, it does require further consideration because there is so much more involved in the decisions that they make moment to moment, day to day about their lives and what they are going to focus upon. But it is also available more than people realize to actually allow your preferences to guide your behavior than people think. So many people think that they are mm, subject to, shall we say, whims of other people, um, requirements and needs of other people, and they forget to listen to their own. And the point is, the thing that we want to convey is that when you are fulfilling yourself, you are far more available for other people. When you are wholly focused on fulfilling other people's needs and desires, you start to clamp down and clamp down and clamp down and you emit an energy of anger or sadness, or dismay, or repression, or whatever, and that the emission of that energy affects other people. Understand that, and some of you do on some level or another, you understand that what you feel gets out there. It's not just what you say, it's not just how you dress, it's what you feel, it gets out there and it affects other people. Therefore, it behooves you to make certain that you are happy as much of the time as possible. Therefore, it is necessary to consider what actually does make you happy. For some of you, you are your happiest when you are interacting with other entities. And so you have got to find ways to do that in this environment, in these restrictions. For some of you, what makes you happy is a brilliant meal. And now that your restaurants are serving again, you must grant yourself a brilliant meal at least once or twice a month because that makes you happy and that happiness touches others. When you go into your supermarket and you are distracted by 
you forgot your list or or that attracts your attention and you know darn well that it's not something you should actually put in your shopping cart but oh my goodness it would be so wonderful you've got to think about that and give yourself a chance to consider well should i will i make be happy or will i be guilty to take it that far in your consideration of how your mind is working, how it's affecting your body, because it affects your body, how you think and how you feel, and how that effect affects other people. And it is important yeah. because how you, how you normalize for yourselves is so important because it will also assist. You don't ever have to talk about it. You just have to be what it is that you are normalizing, that you are content, that you are happy, that you are excited even. That energy touches others and encourages others to do the same. Your thought focused on be happy, be productive, care about those thoughts that are focused on out there go out there and touch other people and you never have any idea what thought or energy you are experiencing is going to change somebody else's way of being do you understand what we are saying i have a question about that all right so when you say to pay attention to your own happiness or your what 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 makes you happy. And so the thought I, I have in my head is like, well, if I pay attention to just my own happiness, what's going to happen? I, I need to at least care about the rest of the world. I can't, I can't, you know, put my head in the, there is the absolutely, there is absolutely nothing wrong with caring about the rest of the world. It does not equate, however, with putting your head in the sand when you don't. Um, it, the fallout from your, ex, your feeling, your um, desire, your emotion is what will touch others. And there is absolutely nothing wrong if you are a person who cares about the other, uh, about others, who cares about what is going on in the world genuinely, not because you think you have to or ought to care, but because you genuinely do. You can always take time in your day to sit in a meditative posture and send out the energy of hope, the energy of love. The energy of everything's going to be okay. To allow people to relax because the difficulties in various parts of the world that cause people to tense up causes doors to shut. That tension causes restriction and a closing down so that they no longer are even available to an alternate thought or the sensation of hope. Your willingness to sit with those emotions and genuinely and heartfeltedly, coining a phrase, send them out to the world you care about is going to help them. And any way that you choose to take some action to help others is always wondrous. But we must remind you that it always will begin with you. Everything you do out of joy is helpful and encouraging and productive. Everything you do out of fear is restrictive and condensing and shutting down. Because caring about the world is a very, very huge subject and action. And not very many people are strong enough to incorporate that level of caring into their everyday lives, which is why we encourage you to look to your own sense, your own emotion. It is an energy that is emitted out of you into the world that touches other people in ways that you possibly cannot even know. But you smile at somebody as you walk down the street or through your market and you lift them, you lighten their load, you cause them to smile back at you. And that in itself is an action 
that affects their well-being. So it doesn't have to be global. When it's personal, genuine and sincere and authentic, it touches the world. We guarantee it. Think about it. Dialogue it among yourselves. Bless you for your questions that bring about these sorts of answers. Let's do it again. But for now, think about what we have given you and dialogue it among yourselves and as you go about with other people in your world. So be it. Bless you. Mm -hmm.